Hello and welcome back here. Though a greater physical menace, the villain from Batman Part 2 is said to carry on the compelling qualities of the Riddler. Robert Pattinson's Batman was constantly on his toes thanks to Paul Dano's Riddler, who sent him on a crazy pursuit of mind tricks. The world's best investigator eventually overcame Edward Nashton the infamous Riddler, who thought he was psychologically stronger than the DC crime fighter. Even yet, Bruce Wayne had trouble deciphering his scheme, because psychological warfare employed by a cunning adversary can prove to be more lethal than physical force. Every time the caped crusader struggled to figure out the facts, the suspense in the film Batman increased as the audience attempted to solve the clues alongside Batman. Since the Ritter is now incarcerated, he is unlikely to be the main antagonist in the Batman Part 2. Yet the villain may carry on the plot that made him so dangerous for Batman. In addition, the persona would pose a greater physical threat to Batman, posing a combination of challenges for the vigilante with the mask. Though readers may be most familiar with Basil Carlo, the actor who transformed into a huge clay beast capable of shape-shifting into anybody after being exposed to a deadly chemical mixture, Clayface has had various incarnations in the comic books. Due to his enormous size, which gives him tremendous strength, Carlo is a dangerous opponent for Batman, and Batman's punches and other abilities are frequently ineffective against him. However, because some substances weaken his body, such as water or electricity, they can defeat him. It is to be noted that the Clayface has made appearances on television, but he has not yet been in a movie. Even if Clayface is the antagonist Matt Reeves decides to use in the Batman Part 2, he will still be more of a cerebral than a physical obstacle. Bruce could easily figure out which ingredients would be the most effective at defeating him, the most difficult part would be figuring out who he is. Since Clayface can transform into anybody, Bruce would need to figure out how to figure out who he's changed into. Carlo may also discover who Batman's allies are, tricking Batman into thinking he is safe and gaining the upper hand. But Clayface would be an unexpected change for a Batman sequel. Although Clayface offers a lot of intriguing possibilities for the Batman Part 2, he wouldn't fit well with Matt Reeves' more realistic setting. The Batman is a grimy criminal thriller that takes place in Gotham that seems more like the actual world than a fictional comic book setting. Similar in tone, Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight trilogy avoided delving too far into the fanciful or spooky. Given that Reeves would have to figure out how to incorporate a massive, shape-shifting mud monster into his more grounded environment, modern Clayface might not be the perfect enemy. But the original version of the villain could make far more sense. Although Clayface has been presented for a while as a shape-shifting monster, at first he was only an actor wearing a mask. These two interpretations of the character might be combined in the Batman Part 2, which would have a makeup and disguise specialist skilled at people impersonation. This would be a wonderful complement to another intelligent detective novel. The actor might be fairly huge and proficient in hand-to-hand -hand fighting to offer Batman a greater physical challenge. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.